You're watching Giants and Gymnastics with Mackenzie, Lacey, and Emerson. Let's get started. Gymnastics is a dynamic sport with multiple events and skills performed in competitions. For our group project, we focused on gymnasts doing giants on the uneven bars. As a gymnast, when you think of rotational motion, you think of giants. This skill is shown in the video. In women's gymnastics, a giant is done with their body extended all the way out while they rotate 360 degrees around the bar. In order to rotate all of the way and not stop short like a pendulum, gymnasts add energy to each swing. So, for our group project, we decided to focus on the forces and work gymnasts do to the bar in order to complete a giant. In order to use giants as a springboard to other more advanced skills, each giant a gymnast performs speeds up so they have more kinetic energy at their disposal. In order to speed up, that gymnast has to add more force and energy to the bar in every single rotation they complete. Our purpose and goal in this project was to create an effective and mathematically accurate model of giants using the information we learned in dynamics. Special thanks to McKinsey and Gymnastics Gold, who were able to record eight gymnasts and let us use those recordings as valuable data in our model. We took each video we made of the gymnasts and edited them as shown in the video to get the exact time it took for all of our gymnasts to complete each giant. We measured the time from the top to the bottom of the giant and used theta equal to pi. The top of the giant is where the gymnast is supposed to have the most potential energy, whereas the bottom of the giant is where they should have the most kinetic energy. We took the time to calculate these values to determine how accurate our equations were in real life compared to examples in class. The highest potential energy should equal close to the highest kinetic energy. We then calculated the force in each giant to use in our work equation. As shown in our graph, we found a variety of results from each of our gymnasts. We expected the trend line of work done on the bar to continue upwards after each giant. This would show the speed up effect that we expected as we began our exploration of this topic. However, that wasn't the case. This could be because of a few varying errors with our design setup. After analyzing the videos, we found that most of the giants that did not follow the expected trend line did not have a skill done after them. The giants that followed our expected trend had another skill at the end. We did find outliers in our data for the gymnasts whose videos showed them deliberately reducing speed at the end. If the gymnast was not doing another skill, there would be no need to add energy to increase the speed of the giant and could cause some confusion in our data. This could have been cleared up with better communication with our gymnasts. Having the gymnast complete a dismount at the end is a requirement for the project. We also never accounted for friction in our calculations and just assumed it was negligible. Unfortunately, the data we recorded did not give us a way to estimate the energy lost due to friction. Our model was simplified, which means that we could only do so much with it. We don't know what the maximum instantaneous work is because of our average speed was derived from time. Having other camera angles could have helped with further calculations. And given more time, we would have been able to use further methods of analysis, given more precise data tracking, and used a larger range of data. In conclusion, we feel that our data accurately shows the relationship between the forces and work performed by the gymnast on the bar, creating an effective model. If this were a long-term research project, we would have liked to explore and learn how the gymnast's energy and work done varied with different skills following their giants. We would have also been interested in studying how the gymnasts could have increased their kinetic energy so that it was greater than their potential energy to further test our model. We'd like to give a special thanks to Gymnastics Gold and their gymnasts for helping with this project. A link to their website can be found in the description below.